Uh, our phase two, uh, we'd like to address uh, grading, common grading, or individual grading of a lot. In your home search, if you just view something that's very appealing, and sometimes you don't know why, it's because the way it sits on the lot, the presentation to the street, and we take that very seriously. Here at Button Farm, uh, you see there's a very, very gentle grade to the street. That was taken a big consideration in our overall grading plan. Here in Wyckoff, the lot had a, a slope, side to side slope. So we had the garage come in from, this, from underneath, and it still has a wonderful presentation. Same thing here in Wayne, Paisley Associates built it, had a nice gentle slope, almost unnoticeable. Uh, here in North Halden had a side slope, and we put the garage in from the side. Uh, now, we take that very, very, very seriously in the initial planning of our community. Here at Button Farm, we had a grade of total of nine feet. To address that, we graded each lot, it was a two foot difference, which is hardly recognizable. And yet when people come in, their perception is a very, very level lot. But our concern from a construction standpoint is the uh, runoff of the water, the integrity of the, of the basement, which we'll discuss at the latter part of this vi video with the footings, basement, and drainage. But the overall impression is just a very, very low profile and a wonderful product. And it creates that by the initial planning with our engineer, architect, and our construction manager, Chris Love. of the construction. The elevation, the house will sit up about two, two and a half feet above the existing grade here. And if we pan or look across the street, we can see the way it'll be completed somewhere along that typical elevation there where you have the proper drainage. And also to let you know is that all the roof drains are hooked into an on-site detention basin, which also helps regenerate, regenerate all the water back in, into the ground. I'm Chris Lowe with Paisley Builders. I'm here with Don Semerero with Hope, Semerero Construction. Um, what we're doing here is uh, we started the first phase of construction here with the excavation. Typically what we do is we lay out the whole house, set the pins, set the elevations with the lasers. And Donnie can explain that laser, how that, that works with the, uh, uh, the grading. Uh, what we're doing here is uh, the excavator removes the material from the foundation. Um, a, a guy works in the hole and checks the grades as he goes so that we ensure that the house is set, you know, with the proper elevation so that you can maintain the, um, the landscape of the rest of the area. Over here you're going to see we have some uh, natural rocks that we excavated from the site and we're going to actually incorporate them into the landscaping. Uh, by building retaining walls throughout the site and it's going to really give it a nice look so that it, we keep that natural feel of the subdivision.
here in the foundation in the winter time, we put the uh, the blankets on top. As you can see here, the blankets go on top of the foundation for three or four days to keep the uh, foundation from freezing. Uh, right now, we're at the um, final completion of the foundation. The forms were taken off. Um, they were placed on this side. These are the, the forms that were used. Um, the foundation takes approximately seven days to cure, about 80-85%. So we leave the, uh, the forms on for three or four days so it sets up properly. Um, the, next, the next phase of the, uh, the construction will be to waterproof the foundation. Um, the foundation will be sprayed with the material called Tough and, tough and Dry and it's sprayed on first and then these, these type of boards are put on on the outside of the foundation uh, to act as a, a drain board and also acts as uh, insulation. So it protects the foundation from, from, uh, from any kind of um, you know, water infiltration.